Hey, what's up everyone? Today we're going to be going over how to build a large furnace base. Step one, you're going to start out with four square foundations. I usually like to put them about, um, about where the posts come down to the legs, right up into the inside of the ground, depending on the level of terrain. Obviously, you don't want it too low. And so you will start by making a 2x2. Two two. You do not want to upgrade these inner squares, but these outer ones can be upgraded directly to whatever your building material of choice is going to be. I recommend stone unless you have a lot of metal frags. <clears throat> then you want to enclose the foundations with walls leaving one side for your airlock and then we will put one wall here one wall here one wall here you want a hard side out there you can choose any side you want for your airlock and you can put oh, another wall here or you can put your door frame wherever you like whatever configuration you like I usually put a shop front. You can put the shop front in whichever direction you like as well. As <clears throat> um, the only difference is the shelves on the inside keep you from placing anything up close to the shop front. Uh, there's no soft side to a shop front. So for the sake of the video, we will leave it facing inwards. And then we will place two door frames and place a door swinging inwards to create your airlock. That is step one. Step two, remove the four foundations that we left twig and now we want to place our furnace. We're going to place our furnace in this far back left corner as close as possible into the corner. Now using triangle, make sure they're the triangle roof frames. Starting here, we can begin to enclose the roof. Make sure you put your furnace before your roof because once the roof is on, there's no placing the furnace. And that's step two. Step three. We're gonna we're gonna place our TC. I like to make it an unlootable TC, so I start by putting a half wall, triangle floor frame, remove the half wall, place your TC. You can put it close to the front as you like. Um, and then I like to place a window far side out so it can't be soft sided into. Cap it off of the window. And don't forget to cap off the ceilings and put a door frame the garage door. You could also add a shelf in here if you like. You could make this a little room as well. And you can add boxes to that. Step four. You can add a refinery to this side of the furnace if you put nozzle in facing into this corner. It has to be facing this direction. And then I like to put it back close as possible to the furnace. It still gives you plenty of room to jump through. Now we will add the rest of our doors to the airlock. 
make sure you add your sealing tiles to lock to seal it in. Oops. And I like to add one more door frame as well. Maybe you got garage doors? You add garage doors. With these leftover areas, it's up to you what you'd like to do with them. I usually like to make one a bedroom. And you could put shelves and put boxes above as well. You can even let them... You can even let them overhang just a tad. Make it easy to access from below. That's how to make your furnace base. Thanks for watching today's video. If you enjoyed the content, please like and subscribe.